Do not stop trying just because perfection eludes you. Every four weeks, I take on a new topic to make myself either healthier, wealthier, or wiser. And it's something that I want to capture my experience and provide for you as a gateway to explore each of these topics deeper. And so the quote that really brought this up was from Light on Yoga. Again, link down below. You go ahead and get the book because it's really a rich experience. Do not stop trying just because perfection eludes you. Now, I've been married for about 10 years now, and this has been the best 10 years of my life, and I'm confident the next 10 are gonna be even better. Whole 100% confidence. And 10 years must be a landmark not just because we're in the double digits, but because when I look at a picture of me 10 years ago, I look young. And despite my best efforts, you can definitely see the aging in my physical face and my appearance, uh, especially in the past couple of years after having kids. We have a, a Google Home display in our kitchen and it just cycles through photos. And sometimes it even does a side by side, like this is you five years ago today and this is you today. And I'm like, good Lord, man, things, things change. And I know that I won't be able to turn back the clock on aging, but I have room to grow for sure in my mobility and how I perceive myself. I have specific goals and those fundamental physical goals are to be able to move freely, to be able to appreciate my body fully and to accomplish my fitness goals consistently, whether or not it's having a specific mile time one month or doing yoga every day for a month or being able to touch my toes when all of a sudden I realize I can't because I haven't been paying attention to one of those areas of my life. So those are the three fundamental physical goals that I want to carry for the rest of my life. These are lifelong pursuits. How does yoga inspire you to embrace and celebrate your body regardless of its limitations or your perceived imperfections? So that's the key question here. And I've got three ways that I unpack that for myself. The first was my own body acceptance. Again, my second, my second core fundamental physical goal is to appreciate my body and shifting the focus from external appearance to the body's capabilities and functionality helps foster self-love and appreciation for one's own body. And so that's where move freely and appreciate my body, they go hand in hand. That's why it's number one and number two for my core goals. And so as I accept my body, it's not healthy to just look at the comparison of me from 10 years ago, but really to look forward and know what I want to be able to physically do 10 years from now. So that's the paradigm shift that's so important. I think everyone can benefit from. The second area is just simply compassionate self-talk. The voice that you hear inside your head and to acknowledge and to curtail all the uh, intrusive negative thoughts that come to all of us when it comes to our own self and our own body and our appearance and all that. And so cultivating positive self-talk, practicing it, challenging those negative body image perceptions and specifically replacing them with affirmations of self-acceptance and self-worth. I'm not someone who is uh, a proponent of manifestation. I don't think that telling yourself, think thin and you'll just magically become thin. I think that if you are frustrated with a specific, specific aspect of your body and you want to curtail whatever habits led to that, really focusing on the positive aspect and oh, really focusing on your positive aspects is going to help with not just your self-worth, but also with the journey that you're on, the trajectory towards your growth and whatever you wanna see happen for you. So the third area is being in community with others. So when it comes to being able to embrace and celebrate yourself, honestly, sometimes the best way to do that is to surround yourself with people that wanna celebrate you. And it seems like a crazy notion, but especially post pandemic, being in the physical presence and surrounding oneself with a supportive community that embraces who you are inside, outside, all the above, is going to be the most fundamental catalyst for you to continue on your journey with whatever your goals are, with uh, whatever your experience is, wherever you're coming from and wherever you wanna be headed. And so it's, it's quantifiable. Now, people that go and they work out 
with other people that they they're on their fitness journey they could even have different goals but if they do it in the presence of others not just with accountability but just with the specific presence of other people to support you is quantifiably a big game changer and so it's the reason why CrossFit is so popular is because people go in person to their gym and in a consistent basis, go through that experience together with other people. And the key is consistency with the same people, the same place. They're doing something different every time. That's the, the design of it. But to do it with the same people is the most important part.